Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a YouTube stream from OBS and go ahead and test it. So if you haven't already and you don't already know specific settings to use for OBS, you can go up to the Tools menu and choose the Auto Configuration Wizard. So let's go ahead and do that. The first option, which we'll leave as the default, is Optimize for Streaming. So we'll leave that as our setting and hit Next. Canvas resolution can be whatever you want, but 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 would be common settings here. In order to stream in 4K, you would have to have a 4K monitor, of course. For FPS, we could leave it as the default to prefer 60 frames per second when possible if your upload streaming bitrate is good enough. But personally, I would choose high resolution. I would rather stream at 1080 with 30 FPS than say trying to stream at 30 FPS with 60 frames per second. I think this is more important. So that's the option I'm gonna go with and hit next. So here would be where you connect with your YouTube account if you haven't already done so. So you have to click on the connect account button and go through the login of your channel and then just select the one that you want to stream to. Once you've gone ahead and done that, there'll be this checkbox to estimate bitrate with bandwidth test. You'll probably want to do this. This will help you automatically select what upload streaming bitrate you should be using. And we'll go ahead and hit next. So now it's going to go ahead and test the server and see what kind of speed you have for uploading your stream to YouTube. So just give it a minute to figure all of that out. So here's our recommended settings. The video bitrate for me, 5950. Yours will probably vary here, depending on your computer and your internet speed. And then down here, we have the output scaled resolution. This is what people are gonna actually be saying. And then the base canvas resolution, uh, that is what you see in this little window here. So if these two numbers vary, they're gonna be seeing the scaled resolution. And then the FPS here set to 30. I'll go ahead and hit apply settings. So now what you'll need to do is go into your web browser, log into your channel, and on YouTube, you're going to want to go to this create button in the top right of YouTube studio and choose go live. So let's just get past all of these messages and I'll also maximize the window here. So before you actually go live, I would recommend that you set your privacy to private for the video so that no one else can see it because you're just testing at this point. So click on the edit button. And then scroll down here and make sure that your visibility is set to private. Okay, now in this little window where there is this loading icon, that's where we're going to have our test show up. So you need to go to OBS and then we're going to hit the start streaming button. You need to set up a broadcast before you can start streaming. So let's click manage broadcast. And because we're already on YouTube, we can click on select existing broadcast and choose the one that shows up here. So the same name, in this case, Chris Tutorials Livestream. I will choose Chris Tutorials Livestream here, automatically created by YouTube Studio. So let's select the broadcast and let's start streaming. And in a minute here, whatever is showing here should show up here on the top left. So we can see that we're currently live. The connection is excellent. That's what we're looking for. And other metrics to make sure that there's no problems with are going to show up down here at the bottom of OBS. So we can see dropped frames. Ideally, that should be set to zero, but you want this as low as possible. Uh, the live time. So another way to see that you're actually streaming up there. The record setting here won't actually do anything until you hit start recording. So if you want to save your stream to your computer, then you can also set up your recording to save a file to your computer at the same time and then click start recording. But of course, that will be a little bit more demanding on your computer. Um, so then we have CPU. This is the percent that OBS is using. If you have a game, that's of course going to be taking up additional CPU resources. So just keep in mind that streaming games is pretty hard on the computer. It does take a decent computer to do that. And then FPS, you want this to be consistent at the FPS you set before. So I'm doing 30 FPS, that's what we're looking for. So, and then on the right here, we have kilobits per second. You want to see this hovering pretty close to the number that you set. So we set up 5,950 KBs per second as the bit rate. So if it's above that, that's good. If it drops too far below that or it drops below that consistently, then it might be that you need to turn the settings down a little bit because your computer slash internet just can't handle it. So on the YouTube side of things, you can hit the unmute and listen to yourself and just make sure the audio is coming through as well. So on the YouTube side of things, you can, okay, so it seems like it's there. Uh, also a way you can kind of check the delay. 
And just to make sure that something else is going to show up here, I will just add an image here and make sure that the video feed's going as well. So we can click Add for the sources, Image, and I'll just select an image on my computer. Okay, so there we have our OBS logo. Let's just put that in there. And it should kind of update here in real time. That image should pop up. And there we go. We have our OBS logo. Of course, if you have a game added as a source, that will be popping up here as well. So if you've made sure that your stream health is pretty good, looking at the settings down here, you have a green box here, you've tested your audio, you've tested your video, then you can shut off your test stream, go ahead and set a new one up, and then just make sure that your privacy is going to be set to public when you're ready. So you can hit edit, go down to details, and just make sure that's private. Also quickly worth noting the stream health setting over here. YouTube can also give you some analytics to look at. So if it says stream status, excellent, that's what you're looking for. But uh, pretty much that's all there is to setting up a YouTube stream in 2022 with OBS. So I hope this video was helpful to all of you. Good luck with your streaming. Thanks for watching. I've been Chris, and I will see all of you in my future video content.